When you're driving on the highway and a massive 18-wheeler roars past you, you might not give much thought to how that giant machine comes to a stop. After all, it has brakes, just like your car, right? Well, not exactly. Despite the sheer size and weight of heavy-duty trucks, they don't usually rely on disc brakes like the ones found in most passenger vehicles. Instead, most big rigs use something called drum brakes, or more accurately, air-operated drum brakes. But why is that? Why would the heaviest vehicles on the road not use the more modern, powerful braking systems found in everyday cars? Today, we're diving deep into the engineering, the physics, and the economics to answer the surprisingly complex question, why don't big trucks use disc brakes like cars? Let's explore, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start by understanding the key difference in braking systems. Cars and light trucks typically use hydraulic disc brakes. These systems are known for their excellent stopping power, consistent performance, and quick response times. The disc brake works by squeezing brake pads against a spinning disc, or rotor, mounted to the wheel. It's a simple, effective design, and it works incredibly well for vehicles weighing a few thousand pounds. But when you're dealing with vehicles that can weigh up to 80,000 pounds fully loaded, the braking challenges change drastically. The forces involved in stopping something that heavy are exponentially greater, and they introduce entirely new engineering problems. Heavy trucks, instead, rely on air brake systems, which primarily use drum brakes. While disc brakes are slowly gaining traction in the commercial trucking world, drum brakes remain the industry standard and for good reasons. One of the biggest differences between cars and trucks lies in the braking medium. Cars use hydraulic fluid, but trucks use compressed air. Air brakes offer a major advantage in safety and reliability for heavy vehicles. With air brakes, there's an unlimited supply of the working medium, air. If the system leaks, the compressor just pumps in more air. In contrast, Hydraulic systems can fail catastrophically if they spring a leak, since fluid loss equals braking loss. Furthermore, air brake systems are designed to fail safe. That means if air pressure is lost, powerful springs automatically engage the brakes. This feature makes air brakes particularly suited to the high safety standards of commercial trucking. Now, why drum brakes instead of discs? Drum brakes might seem outdated, but in heavy-duty applications, they offer several practical benefits. Drum brakes enclose the braking components inside a cylindrical drum, and when the driver presses the brake pedal, brake shoes inside the drum press outward against the inside of the drum to create friction. One major advantage is that drum brakes have a large surface area for friction which helps in absorbing and dissipating heat. Since heavy trucks can generate immense heat during braking, especially on long downhill grades, this heat capacity becomes crucial. Additionally, drum brakes are less exposed to environmental factors like water, salt, and road grime, which can corrode or impair disc brake components more quickly. In snowy or muddy conditions, Drum brakes offer better protection from the elements. Another huge factor is cost and maintenance. While air disc brakes offer superior performance in terms of responsiveness and fade resistance, they come with higher upfront costs and can be more expensive to maintain over time. Trucking companies, which often operate fleets of dozens or hundreds of vehicles, have to weigh performance against operating costs. Drum brake systems are well understood, parts are widely available, and mechanics are extensively trained to maintain and repair them. For many companies, the added expense of switching to disc brakes doesn't justify the marginal improvement in braking performance, 
especially when drum brakes have proven reliable over decades of service. When every penny counts in long-haul operations, affordability and serviceability matter just as much as braking power. It's also important to address brake fade, a condition where braking power decreases due to heat buildup. In theory, disc brakes handle heat better because they're open to airflow, which cools them down more quickly. However, in the trucking world, things aren't so simple. The sheer mass and inertia of a fully loaded semi-truck create so much heat during braking that even disc brakes can struggle. To counteract this, trucks often use supplementary systems like engine brakes, commonly known as jake brakes, and retarder systems to reduce speed without relying solely on the service brakes. These systems ease the thermal load on the primary brakes, making the heat advantages of disc brakes somewhat less critical in real-world truck operation. In recent years, regulations in places like Europe and North America have started encouraging or even mandating the use of disc brakes on certain classes of commercial vehicles, especially buses and hazardous materials carriers. As a result, more trucks are being manufactured with disc brakes, especially in the steer axle positions where stopping performance is most critical. But even then, many trucks use a hybrid system with disc brakes in the front and drum brakes in the rear. This transitional design allows manufacturers and fleet operators to balance cost with compliance and safety performance. The full conversion to disc brakes may still take decades, particularly because heavy-duty trucks can remain in service for over a million miles and are often resold into secondary markets where disc brake upgrades aren't economically viable. So what does the future hold? As technology improves and the cost of disc brake systems drops, we may see a more widespread adoption in the trucking industry. Improved manufacturing techniques, longer lasting materials, and better training for mechanics could reduce the barriers that currently keep drum brakes in place. Electric and hybrid trucks with regenerative braking systems may also shift the landscape. But for now, drum brakes remain the trusted workhorse of heavy-duty braking. They're rugged, they're proven, and they're perfectly suited to the demands of high-mileage, high-weight trucking. So the next time you see a big rig slowing down on the freeway or hear that familiar hiss of air releasing from the brakes, remember, it's not just a bigger version of your car's braking system. It's a completely different approach, built for a completely different challenge. From air brake safety to cost-efficient maintenance, drum brakes remain king in the world of heavy trucks, for now. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.